Jafford was a man who seemed to have everything anyone could ever want. At 35, he was a successful entrepreneur with a flourishing real estate business in Lagos. He had built a reputation for himself, rising from humble beginnings to becoming one of the most respected figures in the industry. His mansion in the upscale part of Victoria Island was the envy of many. Surrounded by luxury and wealth, Jaffet appeared to have it all, except one thing, a loving partner to share his life with. That's where Sophie came in. Everyone around Jaffet believed she was the perfect match for him. Sophie was undeniably beautiful, with a striking figure and flawless skin. She moved with the grace of someone who had been raised in wealth, always dressed in the latest designer clothes. Two outsiders, they seemed like the ideal couple, Sophie, the glamorous fiancé, and Jaffet, the dashing, successful businessman. Their wedding was fast approaching, and preparations were underway for what promised to be the event of the year. However, as the days went by and the excitement grew, Jaffet couldn't shake off a nagging feeling deep inside that something wasn't quite right with his relationship with Sophie. As Jaffet spent more time with Sophie, the cracks in their seemingly perfect relationship began to show. It wasn't long before Jaffet started to see beyond Sophie's stunning appearance and social charm. Beneath the surface, she lacked interest in the simple, everyday aspects of life that mattered to him. What initially seemed like harmless quirks started to wear on Jaffet over time. Sophie didn't know how to cook, she couldn't even make a simple meal without burning something. When it came to cleaning, she was no better. The house chores were always left undone, or she would hire someone to do them at the last minute, only when she felt they were absolutely necessary. When Jaffet would gently bring up the issue, Sophie would dismiss it, laughing and waving it off. Oh, darling, she would say, with a playful smile, why should I bother with all that? We can hire someone to do the cooking and cleaning. That's not what I'm here for. To Sophie, maintaining a home was trivial, something for the staff to handle. But to Jaffet, these small things were significant. He had grown up in a home where family meals and shared responsibilities meant something. The more Sophie brushed off these responsibilities, the more he began to wonder if they were truly compatible. One evening, after a particularly exhausting day at work, Jaffet came home to find the house in its usual state of disarray. Sophie was lounging on the couch, scrolling through her phone, completely unbothered by the mess surrounding her. The frustration that had been building up inside him reached its peak, and he couldn't hold it in any longer. He decided to have a serious conversation with her. Sophie, we need to talk. Jaffet began, his voice calm but firm. Sophie looked up from her phone, slightly annoyed at being interrupted. What is it now? She asked with a sigh, as if expecting the usual complaints about the house being untidy or dinner not being ready. Jaffet explained how he felt about the lack of order in their home, about how he wished they could work together to make their future home a place they both contributed to. But before he could finish, Sophie cut him off. Jaffet, look, I'm not going to pretend to be someone I'm not. I'm not interested in house chores, cooking, or cleaning. If that's what you want in a wife, then you need to hire a maid. I can't do this, and I won't. Her ultimatum was clear. Get a maid, or the wedding might not happen. The next morning, Jaffet couldn't stop thinking about Sophie's words. While he understood that not everyone had the same upbringing or values, he couldn't shake the unease growing inside him. Marriage was about partnership, and he had always envisioned a future where he and his wife would build their lives together, sharing responsibilities. Sophie's ultimatum felt like the opposite of what he wanted. But still, he loved her, or at least he thought he did, so he reluctantly agreed to look for help around the house. That's when Felicia came to mind. She was the young woman Jaffet often bought fruits from at the market near his office. Felicia was a beautiful woman, not in the glamorous, polished way that Sophie was, but in a natural, simple way. 
She had dark, smooth skin and wide, expressive eyes that sparkled with warmth. Felicia came from a poor background, but despite her struggles, she always greeted Jaffet with a bright smile and kind words. She was hard-working, running her small fruit stall to support her ailing mother. Jaffet had always admired her resilience and thought she would be perfect for the job. More than that, he wanted to help her, knowing how much she could use the extra money. The next day, Jaffet made his way to Felicia's fruit stand. As usual, she greeted him with a smile, her hands busy arranging fresh oranges and bananas. Good morning, sir. How's business today? She asked cheerfully. Jaffet paused for a moment, unsure how to bring up the job offer, but then decided to get straight to the point. Felicia, I wanted to talk to you about something, he began. I've been thinking about hiring someone to help around the house, cooking, cleaning, things like that. I know you work hard at the market, but I thought maybe you'd be interested in the job. It pays well, and you can still keep your fruit business on the side. Felicia looked surprised, but there was a glimmer of hope in her eyes. Her family had been struggling, and any opportunity to earn more money was welcome. Sir, I don't know what to say, she replied, her voice filled with gratitude. I'd be honored to work for you. I'll do my best. Jaffet smiled, relieved that she accepted the offer. From that day on, Felicia began working at Jaffet's house. She quickly settled into her role, cleaning every corner of the mansion with care and preparing delicious meals that even Jaffet's elderly father praised. Her presence brought a warmth to the house that had been missing for a long time. Jaffet couldn't help but notice how Felicia's hard work and dedication made their home feel like a real home. However, it didn't take long for Sophie to notice the attention Jaffet was giving Felicia. Every time he praised the meal she cooked or offered to drive her home after a long day, Sophie's jealousy bubbled to the surface. To her, Felicia was just a poor girl from the market, someone far beneath their social standing. But more than that, she could see that Jaffet's affection for Felicia was growing. Sophie began to feel threatened in a way she had never felt before. She wasn't used to competing for Jaffet's attention, especially not with someone like Felicia. At first, Sophie tried to dismiss her feelings. She told herself that Felicia was just a house help, and that Jaffet was simply being kind to her. But the more she watched them interact, the more she became convinced that there was something deeper going on. Every compliment Jaffet gave Felicia, every time he offered her a ride, felt like a betrayal. Sophie's jealousy turned to bitterness, and soon, she began to take her frustrations out on Felicia. She would leave piles of laundry for her to wash, most of it unnecessary, and give her impossible tasks just to keep her busy. Sophie hoped that by making Felicia's life difficult, she would push her to quit, but Felicia endured it all with quiet dignity. Sophie's relentless attempts to sabotage Felicia didn't go unnoticed by Jaffet. He had always known that Sophie could be demanding, but her treatment of Felicia was unfair and cruel. He could see how Sophie would give Felicia extra tasks just to make her life harder. There were days when Sophie would accuse Felicia of stealing, even though Jaffet knew it wasn't true. He had come to trust Felicia completely, knowing that she was honest and hardworking. Sophie, on the other hand, seemed to be becoming more petty and spiteful with each passing day. Jaffet found himself questioning their relationship more and more. He had thought Sophie was the one, but her behavior was revealing sides of her that he had never seen before, or perhaps, had chosen to ignore. She wasn't the loving, caring partner he had hoped for. Instead, she seemed more concerned with appearances and her own comfort. Felicia, on the other hand, was everything Sophie wasn't, kind, compassionate, and willing to go the extra mile for others. Jaffet knew that something had to change, and he was beginning to realize that maybe Sophie wasn't the person he wanted to spend the rest of his life with. 
The constant nagging and tension between them soon became too much for Jaffa to bear. Every conversation with Sophie seemed to turn into an argument, often about Felicia. Sophie would accuse him of caring more about the maid than about her, and Jaffet was tired of defending himself. He wasn't blind to the fact that his feelings for Felicia were changing, but he couldn't ignore Sophie's increasingly erratic behavior either. The woman he had once thought of as his future wife had become a source of stress and frustration. One evening, after yet another heated argument, Jaffet decided he had had enough. He sat Sophie down in the living room, his expression serious and his voice steady. Sophie, this isn't working, he said, his words final. We've been fighting for months, and it's clear that we don't see things the same way anymore. I think we need to take a step back and reconsider everything. Sophie looked at him, stunned. She had never expected Jaffet to break things off, especially not so suddenly. She tried to argue, to convince him that they could fix things, but Jaffet had already made up his mind. The wedding was called off, and just like that, Sophie was out of his life for good. With Sophie gone, the tension in Jaffet's house dissolved. The once chaotic environment became calm, and Jaffet found himself feeling more at ease than he had in months. Felicia continued to work diligently, unaware of the growing affection Jaffet had developed for her. Every day, Jaffet found himself looking forward to their interactions, whether it was over breakfast, where she would prepare his favorite dishes, or during the evenings when they would chat briefly as he drove her home. Felicia's presence had brought peace into Jaffet's life, something he hadn't even realized he needed. Over time, Jaffet's admiration for Felicia's hard work and quiet strength deepened into something more. She was the kind of person who put others before herself, always thinking of ways to make life easier for those around her. Jaffet admired her resilience and the kindness she showed not just to him but to everyone she encountered. He began to realize that Felicia was exactly the kind of person he had been searching for someone who understood the value of hard work, family, and love. It wasn't long before Jaffet's feelings for her grew into something undeniable, and he knew he had to tell her how he felt. One evening, after a long day at work, Jaffet offered to drive Felicia home as he usually did. But this time, there was something different about the air between them. Jaffet could feel the weight of his unspoken feelings pressing down on him, and he knew he couldn't keep him hidden any longer. As they drove down the quiet streets, Jaffet's mind raced. How would Felicia react? Would she laugh it off, or would she feel the same way? The uncertainty gnawed at him, but he knew he had to take the risk. As they approached a small park, Jaffet pulled the car over to the side of the road. Felicia looked at him curiously, wondering why they had stopped. Jaffet turned to her, his heart pounding in his chest. Felicia, he began, his voice softer than usual, I don't know how to say this without it sounding strange, but I've developed feelings for you. You've brought so much life into my home, and I can't ignore it anymore. I know you've had a tough life, but I want to help you. I want to support you, send you back to school, and help you achieve your dreams. But more than that, I want us to be together, if you'll have me. Felicia's heart raced as she listened to Jaffet's words. She had admired him from the moment he had offered her the job, appreciating his kindness and the way he treated her with respect. But she had never dared to imagine that someone like Jaffet could feel the same way about her. To her, Jaffet was a man far above her social standing, a successful businessman with wealth and influence, while she was just a simple market girl struggling to make ends meet. But as she looked into Jaffet's eyes, she saw sincerity. He wasn't just offering her a better life, he was offering her love, something she had longed for but never expected to find in someone like him. With a shy smile, Felicia replied, I've loved you too, Jaffet, but I never thought you could see me in the same way. I thought I was just your house help, someone you were being kind to. 
But if you're serious, then yes, I want to be with you. I want to share my life with you. In that moment, the walls that had separated them crumbled, and they both knew that their lives were about to change forever. Jaffet smiled, feeling a sense of relief and happiness wash over him. He reached for Felicia's hand, and she took it, their fingers intertwining as if they had always belonged together. In that moment, everything felt right. The doubts, the uncertainties, and the challenges they had faced seemed to fade away, leaving only the connection they shared. Jaffet knew that his life had taken an unexpected turn, but he was grateful for it. Felicia had come into his life in the most unassuming way, but she had brought with her a sense of peace and love that he had never experienced before. As they continued their drive, Jaffet couldn't help but think about the future. He wanted to help Felicia achieve her dreams, to support her in every way possible. He had the means to do it, but more than that, he had the desire to see her succeed. They talked about their plans, about how Felicia could go back to school, pursue her passion for business, and one day, open her own shop. But more than anything, they talked about their shared future. Together, they would build a life filled with love, respect, and mutual support. It was a twist of fate that had brought them together, but now, they were ready to embrace it and make the most of the life ahead of them.